10. The Jackson County School Board approved plans to combine Sneeds Elementary with Grand Ridge Middle School. During tonight's school board meeting, parents and teachers voiced their concerns about that decision. News 13's Emma Riley joins us live in our studios. Emma, why are people opposed to combining these two schools? Tom, teachers and community members say they're worried it would take away from their small school atmosphere. I don't want a K-8 period, no matter where it's built. Parents and teachers were vocal at Thursday night school board meeting, begging them to reconsider their decision to combine Sneeds Elementary with Grand Ridge, which would make it a K-8 through school. Closing our school would be detrimental to this culture that we pride ourselves in creating. Yes, many of the same teachers would go to the K-8, but I'm afraid that small community atmosphere that we have created is not attainable in such a large population. Bigger is not better. And it is not about not wanting to go to Green Ridge. But Jackson County Superintendent Steve Benton says it's what's best for the schools. I just feel like that once they realize that the, the way the plans are, that the elementary be on one side and the middle school on the other, on the other side, uh, that it's, it's going to be the best thing that this, this uh, for the kids in, of, of the east, east part of the county. Benton says this would save the county around $18 million while also giving students a new state-of-the-art school. I don't think they quite understand the, the plans that the board has approved. I mean, it's uh, Sneeds Elementary is a great school. Grand Ridge is a great school, but they both have old buildings. We're constantly spending money on roofing. Uh, having to uh, bring in mold uh, devices and everything. So uh, this will be a state-of-the-art building. And uh, $52 million that the state has given us, we only pay back $9 million in three years. And we'll pay that back by the half cent sales tax. He also says this will solve traffic issues in the area. This will solve all the traffic problems because we designed for the school uh, to have 200 spaces car line spaces and the buses coming in in the morning to the cafeteria. It's just a win-win for everybody. But some think combining the schools is the wrong decision. This will have devastating impacts on teens, as it would any other community. Once they combine the two schools, there will be 950 kids on the campus. The $52 million was given to the school district by the state. Emma, where do they plan to start the building? They want to break ground this summer, and the project should take two years to complete. All right. Uh, Emma, earlier we were talking about uh, we were expecting some parents to get up and complain about a Cottondale Elementary School teacher was supposedly abusing their children. What happened there? Tom, those parents did not address the school board, and school board members did not discuss the matter. Okay. We'll have to continue to follow that one. Thanks, Emma. Emma Riley reporting live in our studios. Panama City Beach Fire Department will soon have a brand new station on the east 